What's up, YouTube? I'm the Cal Car 131, and this gel test, I'm going to be trying out a couple common shotgun loads to see which one is best for self-defense. Pretty straightforward video, I suppose. A couple different loads here. I have some Rio number no. 4 buckshot 27 pellet. I've seen this on a couple uh, online sort of articles comparing and ranking different, uh, the best, quote unquote, the best shotgun loads for home defense slash self-defense which as an aside right now i'm not saying that i specifically recommend a shotgun for home defense i did an entire video right here on what i think is the best platform i guess you could say for a uh, home defense so if you want my kind of opinions on that we'll go watch that video but if you did choose to use a 12 gauge shotgun for home defense i have number four buckshot rio double lot buckshot nine pellet and some Brennicky Classic Magnum slugs. <clears throat> so I, I do understand. I do understand the fact that uh, there are actually some companies that make like purpose-built shotgun loads for self-defense. For instance, the what is it? Winchester PDX One, I believe, is one that is pretty much made and marketed specifically for home defense. I'm not testing those. Obviously, I'm just testing a couple different uh, common loads. So I got a couple old and used blocks of a uh, clear ballistic gel here 10 percent, but it'll work for this test it's what i got right now so i'm going to step off to about five yards i'm going to be shooting this out of my panzer arms m4 benelli m4 clone and i will start with the number four buck about five yards away once again this is the rio number four buck i have my chronograph set up i don't know if it's going to record anything it's been really finicky i'm still trying to work out exactly why it doesn't seem to be recording stuff, but let's see what does the job. Looks like 1165 is what it recorded. All right, interesting results. So, I'll get you guys a better up close look at this in a minute, but it looks like the majority of the load stopped between 10 and a half and 12 inches, roughly the majority of them. I see a couple that looks like they pushed a bit farther. I believe this is one too, and that one would have gotten to 16 and a quarter. I see a couple that are more like nine and a half, but we'll say rough sort of generalized penetration average is say about 11, 11 and a half inches. Now, the standard that I'm looking for in all of my gel tests is 12 to 18 inches. I'm going to make an entire video covering why I use that for my standards, because a lot of people don't seem to understand. Basically, <clears throat> the smart people at the FBI decided that a bullet, a, a bullet type or a load that penetrates between 12 and 18 inches will typically, in a large variety of situations, penetrate deep enough inside a human body to reliably hit and destroy vital organs, causing very rapid blood loss and incapacitation. I'm gonna be doing an entire video because I'm sure there are some people that aren't going to understand why I do that. So watch out for that video. But Rio, number four buck, it got about 11 inches. So just a little shy of what I'm kind of looking for. Five yards, now I got the Rio uh, double lot buck, nine pellet. See if my chronograph will continue actually recording stuff. 1225 velocity. All right. Let's inspect the double lot buck here. So, nine pellet. One, two, three, four, five, six. I count six here, 
seven. I count at least seven that stopped all around, right around here. So penetration, something like the average center of the pack about 19 inches. So that is slightly over the standard I'm looking for once again. However, the good thing about double lot buck, most shotgun loads in general, I suppose, is that you have a little bit of leeway. Now, obviously, the farthest one that I can see got 21 and a half. And like I said, I think this is one right here. And that is right at like 15 and a half. So you have a pretty decent spread right here. Brennicky Classic Magnum Slug here. I'd switch the blocks around a little bit so they are a bit clearer, a little bit. See what happens. Error, I didn't get a velocity. All righty, so let's see here. Once again, I'll get you guys a uh, closer up picture as best I can of what this looks like, but oh boy. Okay, so the slug stopped right here. Overall penetration, 19 inches. So pretty close penetration to what the uh, double lock buck got. I can actually see some of the permanent cavitation as, as close as it kind of is represented in uh, ballistic gel, which is not exact, and clear ballistic gel even less so than organic gel. But what I can see looks like almost immediately, and it goes out to probably 11, 11 and a half inches of what the, again, permanent cavity that is shown in ballistic gel is showing. So in the end of this gel test, I think I have to conclude that the slug and the double op buck both kind of share the victory in this case. Yes, they did penetrate a little too much, but personally, I would rather have a little too much penetration than not enough. The reason for that is, I believe the over penetration, while something you should consider, is vastly overly worried about, okay? I encourage all of you, and if you can find anything like this, link it in the comments, but I cannot really find any instances of a civilian, a lawful self-defense shooting as a civilian, that a third-party bystander is hit and seriously injured slash killed whatever. I can't really find any of it. If you can, link, a, link an article or something about it in the comments down below, but I can pretty much bet money that it almost never happens. To kind of back that up again, in addition to what I just said, I can find almost no instances of cops being sued because of hitting a innocent bystander. When if you look at the facts, cops are probably more likely to engage a target in public around other people. So I think overpenetration is kind of overstated and overworried about, which is why the slug and the double op buck which both penetrate a little farther than the standard I look for, I'd rather err on a little bit too much than not enough. So wrapping up, I think I would have to say that the double op buck and the slug are the two that definitely won this test. Very simply, they got slightly more penetration than I want, but I'd rather have a little too much than not enough. So in this one very specific test, one specific test, not the end all be all, double op buck and the slug are the ones I'd pick. If you enjoyed the video, you found it informative, whatever, give me a like. I appreciate it. Tell me in the comments what you thought. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. I'm the Calcar 131. Bye, y'all.